Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing the factor tree worksheet number one. This is from Math Salamander. And for all those watching, this is my first sixth grade video. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now when I say sixth grade, really it could apply to uh, any middle school grade or even fifth grade. But let's go ahead and jump right into what is prime factorization? Well, prime factorization is when we have a number, okay? In this case, it's 15. And we're trying to break it down into its factors, but specifically it's prime factors. Now, what does the word prime mean? Prime means that it only has factors of itself and one. So, so factors, it's only going to have two factors and it's going to be itself and one. Okay. So in this case, let's take the number three. Three is a prime number because the only combination you can get to three is three times one itself and one. So it's a prime number. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at 15. What are we trying to accomplish here? Well, we're trying to get prime numbers into these circles. Okay. So when you see a circle, know that, let me get a nice circle here for you. When you see a circle, know that this is supposed to equal a prime number. Okay. And then a square, let me get a nice square for you. Okay. This is supposed to be a composite number. And I'm going to move this so it doesn't look so bad. So this is a composite number. Composite just means it's not prime. So it's got more than just factors of itself and one. Okay. So anytime we see a circle, that's prime. Square is composite. So we're trying to think of two numbers that multiply together. So this number times this number that equal 15. And in this case, obviously it's five and three. Okay. Always start if you're confused on, um, you know, your multiplication tables or something like that, just think, Okay, let's start at one, then let's move up to two. Obviously one and 15 is always gonna work. Then move to two, it's not a number, so it's not, two is not gonna be one of the factors. Okay, and then move on three. What times three? Okay, 15. So that's the process I would use in my head. Here we have 14, we see that it's an even number. Anytime you have an even number, it's always divisible by two. Okay, so two and seven are gonna be your prime factors here. Two times seven equals 14. Now. 2 is a prime number. Even though it's even, it's the only even number that is prime. Okay, so keep that in mind because the only factors of 2 are 2 and 1. 33, we have another one here. We have 11 times 3 is 33. And this just gives you an idea. Okay, this is our basic steps. Let's go ahead and jump to number 4. So here we have 12 and we see we got like a big tree here. Now, this could be confusing for people seeing this for the first time, but essentially each one of these little rows, uh, these little trees here, they need to be something that multiplies to the thing above it. So for example, these two numbers need to multiply to give me 12, okay? And these two numbers need to multiply to give me six. That's how it works. If it stems from it, it needs to multiply to equal it. So we're thinking to ourselves, six times what number gives us 12? And that's two. And as you can tell, it's in a circle, so that means it's a prime number. So there's our first prime number. And then we think, okay, six, what times it's uh, what times it something else equals six. Something times something gives us six, and that something is two and three again. Both of those numbers are prime numbers again. I got a better idea. Check this out. Notability is great. You just copy, and then I'm going to paste it over here. Okay, and then I'm going to paste it over here. There we go. Okay. So we have two times six and then two times three and that's six. Now what we're doing here for this bottom part is we're just writing only the primes. So we're going to write two times two times three. Okay. Those are only the prime numbers and that's what makes it a prime factorization, a prime factorization because we're trying to get only the prime factors at the very end. Let's do another example. Here we have 30. We're trying to come up with numbers that multiply together to give me 30. So in this case, it's 2 times 15. We know it's you can divide it by 2 because it's an even number. 30 is an even number. And then we think to ourselves, what times what gives me 15? And that is 5 and 3. These are all prime numbers. So again, we could just like paste these here just to show that they're prime. Okay, the circles already mean they're prime. I'm just kind of being a little ridiculous here. A little overkill, but just to drive the point home, these are the prime numbers. So we can write this as 2 times 5 times 3. So if we do 2 times 5 times 3, 
Okay, maybe I can even get my laser, laser point here. If we do 2 times 5 times 3, that will equal 30. 2 times 5 is 10, times 3 gives us 30. So we can get the same thing with smaller parts. Obviously, 2 times 15 gives us 30, but 2 times 5 times 3 also gives us 30. Let's jump ahead to maybe a harder one. So here we have 28. Now we have to think here, okay, 28 divided by what? And one of them has to be prime. So you have to do a little bit of problem solving here, thinking of what prime numbers... Uh, are divisible by 28. And there's a couple, well, actually, there's only one option here. It's an even number, so we should always divide by 2. Anytime you have an even number, my advice is always divide by 2 because that is a prime number. Okay, now we have, okay, 2 times what gives me 28, and that's 14. Now we have 14, and we can divide that up into 2 and 7, two more prime numbers. So our final prime factorization it's just going to be what you see in the circles. Again, you're writing down here just what's in the circle. So we have 2 times 2 times 7, and that equals 28. If we were to do this one at a time, 2 times 2 is 4, times 7 is 28. We could also do 7 times 2, that's 14, times 2, that's 28. That's your prime factorization. That's all you need to do. So again, anytime you see a circle, look for a prime number. If it's even, try to divide by 2. If it's odd, start with 3. So for this one, last one, this is your bonus. We're going to divide by 3, and we get 15. It's easy to think of minutes. I like thinking of 15 minutes times 3, 45 minutes. Then we have 15 divided by 3 gives us 5, or what times what gives us 15, and that's 3 times 5. So we have 3 times 3 times 5. That's going to be our prime factorization. 3 times 3 is 9, times 5 is 45. Or 5 times 3 is 15, times 3 is 45. This is another way of writing 45. And that's it. That's all we have for this video. If you want to see other videos, potentially from Math Drills, Math Salamander, Math Aids, K5 Learning, those are all great middle school worksheets that I use. And if you have a question on any of them, send me the worksheet, leave a comment, let me know what you need. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.